Yeah, man, what's really good? Let's give it up 100. Back in here for another video, man. You know what I'm saying? Yo, y'all know what I do. I tear down hip hop. And this is no different. This is not a different. This is no different from what I do on a regular basis. All right? I'm going rip hip hop to absolute shred and single handedly by myself because I'm not hearing too many other people making subject matters about this. You know, the, the toxic, satanic fucking music that hip hop is. So I'm just going to keep doing it by myself until that, you know, wonderful day comes and hip hop just has to be eradicated and be done with because it done, it done ran its course and it's over with. Hopefully this is a reality because I really want this hip hop shit to die and go to the graveyard and be done with. Unless, unless... If it's possible, them to make it the way they used to make it. If they can make, if they can make hip hop, if they can make hip hop the way they used to make it around late '90s, which is my favorite time of hip hop, when I was loving hip hop the most. If they can make it the way they used to make it late '90s, early early 2000s, I'm all for it. I would never, you know what I'm saying? I would never fix my mouth to say, "Be done with that good shit." How could I? I was loving this shit to death. But hip hop, I believe, it goes through these weird phases. And at some point, the fans of one era is not going to be fans of another era because the music drastically changes so drastic. Go from one complete thing to a whole nother thing. Nowadays, female rap shit is such a waste of time. I don't know, like, who the fuck is causing for Cardi B to win rap album or rapper of the year or some shit or, you know, getting Grammys or who is nominating Meg Thee Stallion? Like, who's doing, like, what are they nominating? What are they nominating? What are they nominating? Sonically, these chicks is garbage. You don't want to hear that shit. Yo, my nigga, straight up. I met my boy Carl one day and he turned on some shit that was out. I think it was like a year or two ago. I told him, I told a nigga straight up, turn that shit off. Yo, my nigga, you know how I am. Just turn that off, bro. You know how I am. I don't want to hear that. Because I'm telling you, it's a vibration. It's a certain frequency that shit puts you on. You could be uppity in your mood or whatever, and that shit will bring you all the way down to depression. And just make you start to regret and start to get angry about some shit. I've been there. That's why I turned this shit off completely. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. The shit bring my frequency down too low, my nigga. I need to vibrate high. I'm a happy type of person. I like to have fun. I like to feel good. You know what I'm saying? I told my boy straight, yo, turn that shit off. You know how I am. And we didn't argue about it, but he turned it down or whatever. And I was in my mood. I was fucked up the whole ride. Like, yo, I told you, nigga. I don't want to hear that shit. Yo, listen. <sighs> With these female artists out here these days, man, I miss terribly artists like lauren hill i miss lauren hill bro i even miss lil kim and foxy and the brat and all of that missy elliott i miss all of them where the fuck they at why they not out here showing these little motherfuckers that they should hop their ass right back in the bleachers up in the nosebleeds and be a fan because that's all you is is a fan bro you're not a part of this artist shit you're not an artist not because you post a video on the internet and got your ass some following that don't make you an artist. That don't make you an artist. You know what I'm saying? Where's these artists at? Where's Lauren Hill at? Lauren Hill was so prevalent. She dropped one album. The Miseducation of Lauren Hill picked up five Grammys for that. Remember the days where the Grammy Awards actually rewarded conscious black people, like people that was black people that was talking conscious in their rap music and shit like that? You remember them days? Where niggas was getting accolades for that? Oh, them days are so gone, obviously, man. Oh, my God. Bring those days back, please. Please. We need it. We need some light in this darkness. The world is dark right now, man. It's really, really, really dark. And it's like we're locked into a cave and we don't see a way out. We don't see a way out. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of us are holding on to the current rap shit, knowing that it's going nowhere but hell. But you're holding on to it because you don't got nothing else. 
And you don't know where to go because we're in this dark age right now. Shit is dark out here, man. Lauren Hill. Do wop that thing. That song right there. That she got so many. I think it was a song of the year or single of the year or some shit like that. That same year, 1999. Just listen to these lyrics. These lyrics, these artists ain't spitting shit like this no more. It's been three weeks since you've been looking for your friend. The one that let you hit and never called you again. Remember when he told you he was about the Benjamins? You act like you ain't him. Then give him a little trim to begin. How you think you're really going to pretend? Like he wasn't down and you call him again. Plus when you give it up so easy you ain't even fooling him. If you did it then, then you probably fucked again. Talking out your neck saying you're a Christian. A Muslim sleeping with the gent. Now that was the sin that the Jezebel in. Who you going to tell when the repercussions spin? Showing off your ass because you're thinking it's a trend, girlfriend. Let me break it down for you again. You know I only say it because I'm truly genuine. Don't be a hard rock when you really are a gem. Who's rapping like this nowadays? Male or female? Nobody's spitting like this because they don't have the knowledge. They don't know nothing. And they don't have the creative that creative spin on things that true artists got because they're not true artists like i'm saying nobody's rapping like that no more because they're not true artists and sonically if they even talk this conscious shit that lauren was talking it's not gonna sound that good because production these days are very very trash it's just the beat and that's it it's silly when girls say they sold because it's in Look at where you been. Here we like European fake nails done by Koreans. Come again. It's silly when girls sell their souls because it's sin. Look at where you been. Here we like European fake nails done by Koreans. Are we not seeing that out here right now? 25 years later, after Lauren Hill laid down those lyrics. Lauren Hill dropped this one album, got all these accolades, and never dropped another one. You ever wonder why? Maybe it's because she's seen where the music was heading. Because a lot of them are privy to what is coming up while they're in the industry. They're in the know. We on the outskirts, we don't know nothing. They're in the know. They know what's up. They know the next 10 years is going to be on some other shit. Niggas of the 80s knew the 90s was going to be more violent and, and flashy, braggadocious. That's exactly what it was. That's why everybody switched their shit up. A nigga, a nigga like, a nigga like LL Cool J. How you think he's able to last for thirty years, not staying what he was in the eighties, not still keeping the lyrical content that he was spitting in the eighties? He got with the nineties. He got with the two thousand. That's why his career spanned over three decades or more because of just going where the music is going you know what i'm saying now where the music is at right now is just very one-sided not a balance nobody's talking no sense out here it's just it's like a sport for kids it's like a bunch of kids running around and grown adults is out here bumping their bullshit because what you don't want to you don't want to bump the old shit because you don't want to be considered you know old and played out or washed up can music ever be washed up if it was ever good ain't it ain't it always good are we shitting on michael jackson's music are we shitting on elvis music or um the beatles beach boys Legendary white, legendary groups to white people. Nobody ever shit on them for the fact that their music was made way, 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 way back. But a lot of these out of place Negroes that's not appropriate in their age, they like to act like old rap shit is played out. So they got to get with that new rap shit. When the new rap shit ain't worth listening to, ain't worth playing, ain't worth. Having it seek into your conscience and, and, and go down in your spirit, my nigga. Because music is very powerful. It really do put you in on certain vibrations. That's why you should only welcome a certain sound inside your body. Because sounds change a whole bunch of... like It, it rearranges a lot of shit about your mood. Whatever sounds is going in you. 
How do y'all let ice spice, lice spice, and smelly red, sexy red, retarded Cardi B and uh, Meg Thee Stallion, how do y'all let them be valid? How do they come through and be valid? Yo, I'm telling y'all, I cannot listen to none of them. I can't listen to that stupid shit. It just sounds so fucking stupid. It just sounds like somebody's trying to rap, trying to rap, and for some weird reason, their lack of skills is being accepted by millions. But to me, it just sounds like somebody's trying to rap. It's like, okay, I, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, you got some potentials. That's what I hear. I don't think none of them are ready. They might have potentials. If somebody work with them, like back in the days when they work with you, put you on the shelf for a few years and work with you in order to get you ready, media trained and all of that. Get you into a true artist, get you to, you know, sharpen your artistry and all of that. We don't have that no more. These motherfuckers, they get some views online and next week they famous. Who put, uh, I'm not going to talk about male rappers in this. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to do that. But these females that's coming out constantly, Snow, the whatever the product, whatever the fuck, they're not talking about nothing but look at my ass, my pussy fat. Now they're talking about shit and fart. They're not talking about nothing that you care about, that you need to know about, that you need to listen to. The artistry is not there, like I said. The sonic, the good sound is not there. Sonically is not there. We miss, I miss Lauren Hill. I even miss Foxy Brown and Eve and all of that. Missy Elliott with her creative, creative videos, creative, you know, music, all that. Missy had like the whole package put together perfectly. You fuck with the sound, you fuck with the visuals because that's what a true artist is. What's going on? We just out here waiting for the next absolute atrocity of a, of a rap artist to come out next because these rappers are, are absolutely atrocious we waiting on the other one who's next another one coming with the same message it's like they're following one set of rules talk about this show your body parts be degenerate as possible because that's the crowd that's following you is degenerate motherfuckers and we'll pay you all this money in the world and we'll make you look like you the shit. Shout out to um, somebody that just hit one of my videos and commented this. It's one of the realest shit I've seen. Somebody said, um, these dumbass rappers nowadays, dumber than a box of bricks, is getting treated like they got a PhD. Well said. I totally agree. These idiots is not worth my time at all. I don't know how they worth so many other people's time, but they're not worth mine. Kill rap. I'm sick of it. I'm going to see y'all next time for another one, all right? Appreciate y'all for tuning in.